Hey, this is Ryan from the Code Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to be tying a check nymph. I'm using lead tape to weight this and cut it pretty narrow because it makes it easier to wrap. It gives you a nice thin body. We're using a size 10 partridge check nymph hook. And once you get close to the front like that, you can cut the rest of your tape off. that and cut this back piece at a bit of an angle like so and then oh that thread fell back through my bobbin we're just using 70 denny or black ultra thread you can start your thread right behind the eye and what I like to do is kind of loosely spiral back so you don't push the tape towards the back of the hook and then come back up and kind of cover all of this. And then we're going to take a piece of 3x tippet which is going to be your rib actually for this fly. And the key is, is either, either use a pair of pliers or kind of bite the end of it so you got something that'll grab otherwise it's kind of slick and it'll just pull through on your thread. So wrap that back to where the lead tape ends like that. And we'll take a piece of olive thin skin is going to be our back on this pattern. And tie that in right at the back as well. Making sure to keep it on top of the hook. Okay. So then we're going to take this is going to be kind of a caddisy check nymph. So we'll use a caddis green Nature Spirit Emergence Dubbing, which is a little harder to work with because it's such short fibered sometimes, but it gives the fly a really nice buggy look when you're done. And the key with these, like a lot of our trout flies we use here locally, is to just try and make them nice and thin. It seems like our fish like skinny, skinny flies, and you can get away with using a lot bigger pattern if it's thin than if it's <clears throat> really fat. You have to use a lot smaller fly. So start wrapping this. Kind of being mindful to keep everything nice and thin if you can. Just kind of get the bare the bare minimum amount of dubbing to cover up Oops. all your thread. Alright, like that. Plus this, if they're thin, they sink a lot faster too, which is helpful. We fish these a lot in Spearfish Creek, which is really fast, and you have to have a pretty heavy, pretty thin fly to get down to the bottom where the fish are very quickly. So, all right, a little bit of that off. Sometimes, if your dubbing gets a little crazy, it's easier to just back up and start over with another whole another piece. A little more on here. The the caddis green will probably go oh between a half and two thirds of the way up your hook. So about two thirds of your hook or so is the caddis green color. And then next, typically on most check nymphs, you use some sort of hot spot. I'm using a, it's called Pink Lady. <clears throat> it's a Senos Fusion dub. And I like this to be a little longer fiber dubbing because we're going to pick the front of this out. So wrap that, maybe just a bit wider since we're going to pick a little bit of this out. Like that. And then we're going to take a black Nature Spirit Emergence Dubbing to finish off the head of this fly. Okay. 
And same thing, we're going to pick a little bit of this out, so leave it just a little longer than the rest of it, because it'll slender, slim up a little bit when it, once we pick a little bit of it out. Alright, so bring your thread to the front. We'll pull this thin skin over the back, kind of stretching it as we as we do so. Like that. Do a couple more wraps. And I like to leave this on there when I'm wrapping the rib because if you not if you hit your bobbin, it could slide off the front of this and pull your rib all the way back. And when it's really short, it makes it difficult to to rewrap it or to pull it back to the front. So we'll take this 3x tippet and you'll probably get five maybe six segments out of a fly of this size. I don't like it's easy to put too many of them in in these I think sometimes. Just like that. We've got some nice even segments on the back. Tie this down. One or two more wraps, and then trim everything off. And you can kind of build a little bit of a head here, and then you can whip finish. in here. This will work. You can use either a bodkin or a, uh, a dubbing kind of brush or a dubbing picker. But you'll take, cleaning this one off a little bit, take it and just, you want to kind of, a lot of times I'll just cover the body with my fingers. You can scratch this just so you have a little Kind of some little legs coming out of the front of it. Make sure you hit a little bit of the pink too, if you can. Yeah, like that. Just a few legs that so kind of comes out to maybe just past the past the hook point. Gives you a nice, <clears throat> nice realistic look. But it's a pretty easy, simple pattern, and you can adapt it to a lot of different colors. But this fly over the past couple weeks in spearfish has been hands down my best pattern. Typically in the winter we're fishing size 16s and 18s and 20s and for some reason the fish this year really like like these big check nymphs. So tie a few up. Thanks.